Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Um, we're going to throw down cards for Aries for the second half of May, but we're going to wait just a minute because I owe you guys an explanation as to why this didn't get done yesterday when I said I was going to have it done for like the fifth fucking time this week. Um, so I sat down to do the cancer reading last night and I just went through the spiel with cancer, but you guys are going to get a little bit more of the spiel. I sit down to do the cancer reading. And I, I had two left to do. I was going to be done. I was just going to chill out this morning, clean my house before I had to go to work. Nope. I sit down to do the cancer reading and a notification pops up on my phone that um, the governor of the state of Michigan, Governor Whitmer, is having a press conference in regards to um, the flooding going on in the Midland County, Michigan area. And I'd heard a little bit about high water yesterday afternoon. I really didn't pay much attention to it because they have flooding issues every year. It's it's not that big of a thing. It happens every year. Well, this year it's that big of a thing. Um, as you guys know, or may know, I don't know how many of you cross-watch for the other signs, but earlier this week and over this past weekend, we got a whole lot of water up here, two hours north of where all of this is going on. They got a whole lot more down there. And um, a pretty important dam burst, uh, the Edenville Dam. And long story short, um, at least half, if not most, of Midland County is underwater right now. And this affects me how um, my late mother's family is from down in that area. I have a lot of family history down there. I went down there to visit my grandparents as a child and we you know, saw the, the, the attractions. We'd go every summer. The Tridge, if you guys don't know where that is, it's a three-way bridge that goes over where the Tippetawasi River and the Chippewa River connect. And it's just, it was a really cool spot. It, it's just really awesome to see all that water and to just walk up and down the bridges and it's a massive park and it's really cool and it's it's so beautiful. Um, so well, I watched the press conference last night and I just have tears streaming down my face and I just, I, I couldn't, it's like, okay, crystals on the cards, we're not doing any more tonight. I was on emotional overload and when I'm on emotional overload, I give shit reads and I, no, it's not fair to you guys if I can't concentrate on the cards because I have other crap going on in my head. So, because I don't know if my family's okay. I don't know if they made it out. I can't get a hold of anybody. And mm, last night was rough. I cried a lot and I watched a lot of videos on the devastation and watching what what is going on down there. And just, I couldn't do it, so. But I'm here now, and the brouhaha inside is pretty well for subsided, and well, we're going to throw down some fucking cards for Aries. So, three and a half minutes in, I'm going to shut my pie hole and throw down some cards. This reading will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, as you're draining on mine, I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Aries on the planet. It's not supposed to. Everybody pretty much is under different energies as to where the stars were aligned when you were born. Check your moon rising, your Venus sign readings. If you need a little bit more insight, possibly you will find something that will resonate a little bit better for you. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It may even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And cross-watchers, you guys are welcome here too. And if you're cross-watching for an Aries, I feel you on a soul level. I really do. Aries, nothing against you. But, um, yeah. I, uh, I I dated an Aries for for a minute, and it's probably the connection that affected me the deepest. But it's one I cherish. It is. Anyway, 
couple more shuffles. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, second half of May, 2020. What's going on, Aries? Strength in the reverse. A little drained. A lot going on right now. Possibly feeling a little bit held back. Aries, how you feel about the person you're dealing with, the King of Swords? Do you see them as a logical person? Possibly a little bit cold. They're strong-willed. Maybe a little bit of a know-it-all. Might be dealing with an air sign. What you think of them? The Knight of Cups reversed. Ooh. That's some wicked energy. They don't say it. They're not so open with sharing their feelings. Okay. What you want from them is the Knight of Swords reversed. Blocked communication. I don't know if this is blocked communication with you or blocked communication with someone else. I don't know. We'll get some clarity. How they feel about you is the Ace of Pentacles. They see this as the beginning of something wonderful and abundant. Okay. What they think of you is the Ace of Wands. Oh. Okay. Well. It's action, it's passion, maybe a little something something, I don't know, a little something something, a little sugar, you know what I'm saying? I'm not spelling it out for you. Hmm. It's a possibility. They could just think that you're a go-getter, or you start things a lot. Instigator. What they want from you is the Queen of Wands. Oh. That's a lot more something something. That's a lot more sugar. You know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying. Possibility. Card of action. It's not a card of just starting it. It's a card of a little bit more follow through. <clears throat> the obstacle was the wheel of fortune. Oh, the wheel of fortune. It's a ten. Things go in tens around here. It's a cycle closure, cycle open card. It's also an indicator of a karmic connection. Gosh, don't we love these? These are great. Possibility. It's not upside down, though. We're going to get clarity on it in a second. What needs to be done is the Five of Swords reversed. Okay. Okay. It's the Behind Closed Doors card. It's the Dirty Deals card. It's the Shady Stuff card. Not quite as shady as the Seven. But still a little shady. Projected outcome the Knight of Wands. The Playboy of the Tarot. Okay. Okay. What the what the hell just happened on my table? Alright, well, 
Let's look into it, shall we? <sighs> Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get a little clarity for Aries for the second half of May 2020, please? Oh, come on. Stop looking. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, second half of May 2020. Why is the King of Swords here? I'm not taking three. No. I saw the Ten of Cups and the Emperor. I didn't see the third card. We'll see if it comes back out. And you want to talk. King of Wands. They're honest. It's a little bit cold. Strong communicator. Person of action. Possibly a little confrontational. That's a tough combination. That's even slightly a little bit ruthless with a side of cunning. Wow. That's, I want what I want and I want it now, and now I'm going to tell you why. Damn. Okay. Okay. I don't know who you're dealing with, who you're dealing with, Aries, but wow, okay. Can I get one more on that? Three of Cups reverse. They may be like this with their friends and loved ones, too. I don't think they have a lot of friends or loved ones with that Three of Cups reversed. Or at least ones that they, they talk to. This is like, okay, I'm going to cut you, 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 out of my life. Disconnected. They're, they're very disconnected from other people. Okay. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed here? Five of Swords. They don't speak or share their feelings, possibly still picking up pieces. I mean, apparently they're a little bit confrontational, and they're... Nine of Cups, they're happy. Mm. Okay. Mm. You think they're a happy person, but they don't talk about or share their feelings. 
you could possibly see them as your happiness. They bring you happiness. Okay. Why is the Knight of Swords reversed here? Why is the Knight of Swords reversed here for what Aries wants from the other person? King of Pentacles reversed. End of confrontation. So they want something to grind to a halt. They want something to stop. Oh! That's strange. Okay. One more on that? Paraffin popped out. They're disconnected from friends and family, possibly. They're a happy person, but they don't share their feelings, and they're still picking up pieces. And you want a cutoff in communication and conflict to stop. And it has something to do with a blessed union. The Hierophant popped out. Could potentially have something to do with an engagement or marriage. Okay, well, um, okay. Super strange. So you're potentially dealing with someone who necessarily doesn't get along with their family, maybe, or certain friends, and one of the conditions is, okay, if you want this to happen, this needs to stop. I don't know who that's going to resonate with, but that's the story I'm getting. So you want their, I want what I want, and I want it now, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm not going to tell you how I feel. Card came out without intention, Eight of Swords. This has somebody wrapped up. Could be you, could be them, drained, wrapped up in a cage of your own thoughts. You can walk out of the cage anytime you want. Your hand, your feet aren't bound. Your feet aren't bound and you're skinny. You got a skinny soul. You can squeeze between those swords anytime you want to. You're choosing to be in the mental state you're in right now. Just throwing that out there. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for how the other person feels about Aries? Did I have a flipper? No. Do you want to talk? Judgment. Okay. Beginnings of something abundant and wonderful. Hangman in reverse popped out. Flew out, if you will. They feel like you're stuck on something. Like you're not able, or you're not able to see things from their point of view, maybe. 
possibly they feel like you coming into their life was an act of the universe with this judgment card. It's the beginning of something wonderful and abundant, but you they you can't see things from their point of view. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Spiritual change, spiritual evolution. The chubby little caterpillar going into the cocoon and becoming a butterfly or a moth. The only difference between the two is one eats your sweaters. That, that's really the only difference. It's, it's evolution. It's change. Be it positive or negative. I guess the caterpillar becoming a moth. That might be negative. Hey. I just made a connection. Thank you, Aries. I'm going to use that more often. <sighs> change. They possibly think that maybe they've changed spiritually or that you've changed spiritually. An evolution has taken place. You're a go-getter. You're an initiator. Three of Wands reversed. Oh, another upside down three. You think you're not going to wait. You're an initiator. You're always doing new things. Perhaps they might think that your feelings for them are changing. And that you might not wait around for them to clean up their stuff. You can still call this third-party stuff. I'm not sure what the conflict with the family's about, but, you know, it's not my story to tell. I don't have a drop of Aries in my chart, I don't think. I don't, I don't believe I do. I'm just reading cards, guys. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Chariot Reverse. Hmm. One more. Four of Swords. They may be ready to go forth and move forward and lay things to rest and close the emotional distance. Close the gap, if you will. Because, you know, we're talking about up in here, there's something they don't talk about very often. Or when they do talk about it, it's negative feelings and negative emotions. And it just churns up stuff. That's why they don't talk about it. They may be ready to finally lay it to rest, Aries. That they feel like you came into their life for a purpose. This is a purpose card. It, it, it's, it's a judgment. It's an, it's an act of the universe. And they're changing. You changed them. Or I shouldn't say you changed them. That's not possible. change took place that may not have taken place had you not stepped in. Okay, I'm tracking. The conflict here is the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Oh 
my gosh. Okay, you. Hmm. They didn't show themselves. I'm not taking all four cars. I'm not. The Wheel of Fortune, a cycle coming to an end. Nine of Wands, walls tumbling down. One more. Ace of Wands reversed. Things not clicking, matches not striking, things not happening. One more. Things coming to a halt. Why? The Princess of Cups. Communications. Somebody's not giving up a cup. Or someone's not ready to commit. King of Swords popped back out. Mm. And this is why. They say the King of Swords isn't necessarily confrontational. Oh, I don't know about that. He's confrontational with a purpose. He's honest. He's cold. I'm not saying he's negative emotion. He just sets them aside. At least the positive one. Aries, this might be a disconnect or a, a lack of harmony with someone in your family. And that's why this can't move forward. Could be theirs, could be yours. It could be your story and not theirs. I don't know. But somebody's bullheaded shit is going to be a problem. And things about to change. And just, okay. A cycle change is occurring, Yes. An upward events, an upward turn of events is happening. That doesn't mean it's going to be an upward turn of events at first, necessarily. You have to remember that. Beautiful things come out of catastrophes. Ever heard of a happy tragedy? Why is the Five of Swords reversed here for what needs to be done? Striking the match, pushing forward, moving on. Negotiations. Leaving the pieces. <laughs> that reminds me of a song. Perhaps you need to be done negotiating and just figure out what you're going to do. And do it. Four of Pentacles reversed. Letting go. Letting it go. Letting it all out. 
We're done talking about it. We're just going to do something about it. We're going to move forward one way or the other. If I have to move forward with you or without you. Six of Cups reversed. Yes. Yeah, five minutes. I'll be right there. The Queen of Wands reversed and the Four of Cups flew out. With the Six of Cups. I normally don't take three. Mm. But they all flew out at the same time, so... them this way because they make more sense this way. Someone has spent so much time concentrating on the past that they fail to see what the universe is trying to hand them. Or they fail to take the cup. Salty memories and a lack of forward movement. Or someone doesn't get what they want. One is upright, one is reverse. I'm ready to let this go and lay it to rest and move forward, but there's a lot of salty memories attached to this. Somebody needs to look up at the damn cup. Somebody needs to lay the past behind them, leave the pieces, and move forward. I'm not saying you have to forgive and forget. Or, you know, do both. I'm saying if you want to move forward and you want to salvage this, and I don't know who I'm talking to, Aries or the Cross Watcher, I don't know. Somebody needs to swallow a little lump of pride, hash some things out. I am having a feeling this may have been a pretty petty argument, or a series of petty arguments. Somebody needs to let something go. You may need to forgive and forget. If you want to salvage a relationship. Oh, third parties can be fun. Third parties can be fun. Alright. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Ah! I dropped you. You're going back in. Why is the Knight of Wands here for the projected outcome? Empress reversed. Someone not being willing to commit. This not reaching its full potential. The moon never knowing what could have been. Always wondering. But the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. It's still an upward turn of events. It's still a cycle change, so. You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Aries, that's the story of your life. You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Okay, let's get your advice. 
I gotta get a kid some chocolate milk and lunch before I gotta get ready to go to work. The Five of Wands in the upright and the King of Cups in the reverse. Don't box yourself into a corner. This, all the fighting and the squabbling and the arguing needs to look like this. It needs to come to an end. And you need to be open to giving and receiving love. Cross watcher, I'm talking to you too. Don't close yourself off to a beautiful, wonderful thing because of squabbles. Yes, the devil reversed in the hairfront in the upright. Disconnect from the negative crap. Because this is blessed. This is blessed. But there's negative influences here that need to be disconnected from. I don't know who I'm talking to, Aries of the Cross Watcher, but you both better be listening right now. Because the cards are talking. This is blessed. At the very least, it was meant to teach you something. At the very least. The Seven of Pentacles in the reverse and the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Overthinking this may cause it to not come to fruition. Be patient with each other. The negative thoughts will pass. You'll sleep better with a little bit more patience. Temperance in the reverse and the Prince of Swords in the reverse. Oh boy. Mm. If there is any hope for positive energy flow in this situation, somebody needs to open their mouth. And I don't mean open their mouth and be a cold-hearted jerk. That's not what I mean by open your mouth. A conversation needs to take place. It really does. We can't have the wall of silence anymore. Because it's just kind of damming everything up, isn't it? Things still need to flow. When things don't flow properly, communication and energy don't flow properly, and the network stops working, things get all jammed up. Mm-hmm. And then they burst. And you get stuff like this. 
You have to keep communication positive and flowing. Okay, Aries, this is what I have for you. Bless you, my friends, my fire sign brothers and sisters. Oh, thank you for your time today. I have to go feed a kid and get ready to go to work. Okay, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. Hit the notification bell if you want to see more. I am available for personal readings. I'm, I'm a little booked up right now, but I'm still taking orders. It could take up to a week, depending on scheduling. So just keep that in mind when you order a reading. It might take a minute. We're not dealing with instant potatoes or instant rice here. It takes a minute for the energy to cook. Okay. And a brief pause. Request for prayers for the people of Midland County, Michigan and the surrounding areas affected by this flooding. This area will always hold a special place in my heart. And uh, they're good people. And they've been through it. Oh, they've been through the ringer down there. Positive thoughts, positive energy. Y'all will get through this. It's going to be all right. Okay. Aries, thank you for your time. I will catch you guys next week for the first half of June. Be blessed, and I love you to bits.